Assuming your laptop has a flowing communication with the controller of the robot, uh, I'm going to show you now how to um, load a driver in the controller and execute it, so a program that uh, Machina needs in order to communicate back and forth with the, with the robot. All right? The way we're going to do it is I'm going to simulate everything in Robot Studio. So here in Robot Studio, I have a 1200 robot. Um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to controller and I'm going to press flex pendant. And this is going to open this window that mimics um, the flex pendant device that you would have to load and inject this, this, this task. All right. Uh, in parallel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Machina. All right. And in Machina, um, we are not going to be able to uh, connect automatically like I did in the previous video uh, because very likely your robot, if you're around it physically and you're starting to use it, is going to be in manual mode. If it's manual mode, it means that in order for the robot to work, you need to be holding the dead man switch halfway through. And if you let go or if you press too hard, the robot will stop. All right. Uh, it's a security measure, it keeps you safe, it's a good thing, all right? But that manual mode prevents Machina from being able to access some backdoors and inject the programs that it needs in order to communicate with the robot. So, because that's the case, it has to be you who manually takes that file, puts it in the robot, and executes it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the bridge to download the drivers that we need to load on the robot and execute, okay? So how's that gonna work? Well, here I'm gonna type whatever name, ABB robot I'm gonna select. Here, I'm gonna use user because I wanna be, it's gonna be me who's going to manage all the connection, okay? And here, I'm going to type the IP of the robot, all right? Uh, that would be 192.168.125.1. That's going to be typically the case if you are connecting to a physical robot because I'm using a virtual simulation in Robot Studio. That's not going to be my IP. My IP is going to be what's called localhost, which is 127.001. Again, this is for me for simulating this in virtual in Robot Studio. But the physical robot, very likely, is some other IP that you need to figure out. Okay, Very likely, 192.168.125. One, all right? So why does this matter? Because this IP needs to go in the driver when I press here the button download drivers. Download drivers gives me a prompt to save this somewhere. For example, on my, I don't know, on my D drive, whatever, right? And uh, now I have saved a file that contains the program that I need to load in the robot, all right? Um, how does that work? Well, the first thing is, you would put this on a thumb drive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just like extract it to a folder called Machina Modules, all right? And you see here that I have a program called Driver and another program that is called Monitor, all right? Um, I will explain what, why there's two programs in a second, but the most important one is the ABB Driver, all right? But you just put everything on a thumb drive and now stick that thumb drive into the physical flex pendant that you have. Okay, I'm going to emulate that here by pulling up my flex pendant, all right? And then if I go to production window, I can load a program, um, that driver program that I was discussing before. Uh, so if you go up, 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 you should at some point hit, uh, you should at some point hit like here, at some point it's your thumb drive should appear. Because I'm in my computer, I have my hard drive, so I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to Machina modules. All right. So I found that in my system, but for you it should be your thumb drive. Okay. And I'm going to choose Machina ABB driver. All right. That loads a program, and you can see here in Robot Studio how it loaded it into the, the device. This loads a program that, as soon as I press play, it gives me this prompt on the flex pendant, you should be seeing this on your physical flex pendant as well, that tells me that Machina is running on the robot and that is waiting for somebody to connect to that robot, all right? All right, so that is a very good sign, okay? So I'm just going to minimize this, put it somewhere else, all right? 
And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to use the bridge to try to connect to my virtual robot in manual mode. You would do that with your physical one, okay? So I have these, these parameters and everything as I just had it. I'm going to click connect. And you can see here in the flex pendant that it tells me somebody connected. I'm listening, all right? And here the bridge gives me acknowledgement message. Like I could successfully connect. I'm talking to the robot. That is great, all right? All right, so that's cool. So if, if that's the case now, then I should be able to start interacting with the robot, right? Uh, so let's see if that is the case. I'm going to speed things up, speed to 100 millimeters per second, and then I'm going to move in the X direction 200 millimeters. If that's the case, you see that the robot is moving in X direction. Yes, it's working, all right? In your case, for the physical robot, it would be the exact same thing. You would be connected to the physical robot and you could start streaming actions to the device. All right? Well, that's it. That's all you need to connect to, to the device. Um, uh, just keep in mind, again, that one of the interesting things about the bridge is that it also acts as a middleman uh, to connect any other application that you have in your system to the device. Okay? So with the bridge connected, with communication flowing to the robot, uh, one of the things that you can do now is you can open some other of the Machina flavors. So for example, Machina for Grasshopper, Dynamo, Processing, Python, whatever, and then use the bridge to communicate back and forth. All right? There's, some, there's all these other tutorials that show you how to do that. You can find them on the, on the main playlist. All right? Um, I forgot something. <clears throat> it's a really, really good practice to, before you stop using everything, to manually disconnect from the bridge, all right? So you click here, you disconnect, and you can see how the machina driver says, oh, okay, I'm done. I'm waiting for a new connection to, to join, all right? Cool.